Mazda will launch a new electric car in 2025. Better late than never for the Zoom Zoom brand. As a Mazda fan, I can't help but feel disappointed with what they're doing now. While other automakers are building battery factories, announcing big new electric vehicle lineups, and even issuing end dates for internal combustion, the Zoom Zoom brand offers just one plug-in hybrid in its U.S. lineup, and prices start at $50,000. Do not take it wrong. I understand exactly why this happens. Mazda is a small, largely independent automaker, one of the last, really, and can only do so much in the powertrain department. But until now, any Mazda loyalist who also wanted to reduce emissions and perhaps even stop using petrol was very limited in options. Granted, details are still scarce. But Donnelly confirmed it will be an existing nameplate and most likely a crossover, and said it will add more EVs depending on consumer demand. The EV crossover could also effectively replace the CX-5, to which has an unusual degree of product overlap with the CX-50. Meanwhile, Mazda will continue plug-in development across its product range. Plug-in hybrid is the right technology for today's market given the challenges in terms of infrastructure and other things, said Donnelly. We are committed to an electrified future, but in the short term, we feel we have the right technology. And he wasn't completely wrong, of course, hybrids, plug-in or not, are a very useful tool for reducing emissions today, especially for people who may not have the means or infrastructure to make the full leap to electric vehicles. The problem is, Mazda barely has an extensive lineup of hybrids or PHEVs. There's the CX-9 OPHEV, which is excellent but big and expensive. And overseas, there's the slightly smaller CX-60 hybrid and Mazda to hybrid. The latter a race skin Toyota Yaris. The Mazda MX-30 EV only had a range of 100 miles and was only sold in California and only lasted about five minutes before it was canceled. Clearly, Mazda wants to do more and better with the new electric cars coming hopefully in the next two years. That's good news for anyone who appreciates the Japanese brand's approach to driving dynamics, style and achievable luxury, but also doesn't see much value in petrol engines anymore. And things are changing for this company. Last fall, Mazda announced it would increase the number of newbie EV launches from 2028 to 2030 and even estimated that they would account for 25% to 40% of its total global volume. Mazda is also in talks with a variety of new technology partners, including Panasonic for batteries, and has close ties with Toyota and its upcoming hybrid and BEV technology. Perhaps more importantly for fans of electric cars, we'll probably get details about the electric-powered MX-5 Miata at next week's Tokyo Mobility Show. However, as the automotive industry continues to grow, Mazda runs the risk of being left behind, much to the disappointment of fans everywhere. I really hope that doesn't happen, and that Mazda can find a way to accelerate this transformation, especially in North America its largest and most important market. Some of us would love if Zoom Zoom continued into the electric future, even if Zoom is essentially silent. Please support me. Don't forget to subscribe, like, come and share for the latest video updates. Thank you.